Encoder in a layman language is a rotating shaft which is enclosed in a round shape enclosure. When encoder shaft is connected to a rotating conveyor shaft or a motor shaft, it outputs some pulses. For example, if we have an encoder with 1024 pulses per revolution, this means that the encoder will output 1024 pulses in one complete revolution of its shaft. These pulses can be used to detect the position, speed or a distance traveled by the conveyor belt. If we remove the back cover of the encoder, here you will find a glass plate connected to the shaft. This glass plate have a circular array of the small holes on it. This glass plate is very fragile. If you ever need to remove the encoder from the shaft of the motor, never use hammer or force to remove the encoder. It can damage the glass plate. Near to the glass plate, you will find a light source on the one side and on the opposite side, you will find a light detector circuit. This light source is continuously emitting a beam of light. As the encoder shaft rotates, the glass plate also rotates with it. As soon as the light beam and the hole in the glass plate becomes aligned, the light beam passes through the hole and the light detector pick up this light beam signal. This signal is then amplified and converted into the digital pulse output signal. This is a very simple example. How does an encoder works and what's inside it? Encoder have three output pulse channels called as a, B and Z phase. We will discuss about these phases later in this video tutorial. Original encoder glass plates looks like this with some groove tracks on it. These groove tracks are for A, B and Z phase encoder output channels. This means that there will be three separate light beam sources and three light beams detectors in the encoders for A, B and Z output phase. When encoder shaft rotates, this glass plate also rotates. The light beams, whenever aligned with the grooves, passes through the groove and picked up by the light beam detectors. These signals then amplified and converted into digital pulses and encoder finally gives out digital pulse signals at a, B and Z phase. Most of the encoders will use 5 wires. You can refer the data sheets for the operating voltage and 